when you're exploring Budapest, you'll be seeing a lot of statues. But you might be wondering, who are these guys? What is the meaning of this? So in this video, we'll show you guys some of the interesting statues that you may encounter here in Budapest. What's their story? And what's the meaning behind them? Like for this one here. Let's go! Let's start with looking at a few statues in the historic Buda castle area. At the palace there is a widely popular fountain depicting King Matthias dressed in hunting uniform along with his retainers and three hounds. But few know about the tragic story of the woman in the corner. King Matthias was like the first undercover boss. In our folk stories he roamed the country in disguise to see how the people are really doing. One day he met the girl Sep Ilonka, who fell in love with the man in disguise, but after she traveled to Buda, she recognized the king as the man of her desires, realized they could never be together and died in sorrow. There is a famous opera piece covering this tragic tale. The next figure we will look at is more like a meme. At the Fisherman's Bastion you'll find many statues, but apparently one is proof that Woody Harrelson is a time traveler. I mean, if you look at it hard enough you may see the resemblance, but nevertheless it's a funny observation. As you continue strolling in the castle district you can find a peculiar statue at one of the corners. This flying nun was originally supposed to be an information plaque showing that nuns have lived here some time back. But the sculptor kinda took the request in a different direction. A unique and perhaps frightening one. As we leave the castle district in the Europa Park, you can sit and relax next to Zoltan Kodai's statue while enjoying the view. He is a famous ethnomusicologist and composer whose principles, known as the Kodai method, are used globally in schools teaching children about music. Now let's head over to the Pesh side and explore the downtown. At Yasai Mari Square you'll find a bridge with a statue of Imre Nagy. He was a politician who got executed after the revolution against the Soviet subordinate government. And while I couldn't find why he is depicted on a bridge, I would like to believe it's because he was seen as someone who was supposed to lead us over to a new and better time out of the Soviet controlled communist world. Close by, you'll find the statue of the famous character Detective Columbo. Now it's not clear if the actor Peter Falk was indeed a descendant of Miksha Falk, a famous Hungarian journalist and politician, but our country loved the TV series. So this statue kind of commemorates the urban legend that Peter Falk had Hungarian ancestry. Next to the parliament at the Danube banks sits a figure staring at the river. This is Attila József, one of the most famous Hungarian poets of the 20th century. He is the epitome of the tragic life of a poet, because he lived in very poor conditions and wasn't recognized by the peers of his time, leading to suicide. One of his famous poems is about his thoughts while sitting by the river watching as it flows. Only a few meters away is one of the most known installations of Budapest, the shoes on the Danube bank. It honors the many Jews who were ordered to remove their valuables, including their shoes, before being shot into the river by the fascist Hungarian militia during the Second World War. As we continue strolling away from the parliament, we encounter a person from recent times, Ronald Reagan, the 40th president of the United States. He is depicted taking a symbolic walk from the Hungarian parliament towards the Soviet monument, as if he is reaching out to end the Cold War and help nations free from the socialist regimes. Close to him you can also find the statue of George H. W. Bush, by the way. Right in front of the basilica an Instagram favorite statue awaits, the policeman. This chubby fellow is actually from a classic caricature known as Mihosna Andras or No Use Andras, who spent more time at the precinct being lazy and acting as a know-it-all. 
At the Danube Promenade, you'll find a statue of a painter who is creating art depicting the nearby chain bridge. He is the Hungarian artist Ignác Roskovic, and from a certain angle, it looks like he is touching the top of the Buddha castle. The statue is the creation of Mihai Kolotko, who is famous for the many miniature statues across the city. Those deserve their own video. Close by, next to the tram tracks, sits the little princess girl. The statue is based on the daughter of the artist, who used to wear her father's bathrobe and a crown made out of newspaper, and was always playing outside, acting as a tiny royalty. There is also a statue here with a dog and its owner, but there is no real story here. We love dogs, and this is a cute statue. By the way, in case you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to click the like button too. Thanks! Next, let's look at a few statues in the 7th district, starting with one of Empress Elizabeth of Austria, also known as Sissy. Even though we had many feuds with the Habsburgs, Sissy was adored by us, since she sympathized with the Hungarians. Her bond with the people greatly helped with the Austro-Hungarian settlement after the revolution in the 19th century. The 7th district is also named after her as Erzsébet város. Moving deeper into the old Jewish district, you'll find a monument honoring Karl Lutz. He is depicted as an angel-like figure, reaching down to someone in trouble. The Swiss diplomat served in Budapest during the Second World War and saved more than 60,000 Jews by issuing visas and setting up safe houses for them. Next to the Academy of Music, there is a unique statue with a lot of musical references. This is commemorating the world-renowned orchestral and operatic conductor, Sir George Scholti, who was born in Hungary and studied with famous musicians like Béla Bartók. Interestingly, he had the title of most awarded artist at the Grammys, until Beyoncé became the title holder in 2023. Close by on the Nagymező street, you'll find a man sitting in front of the Operetta Theatre. That's Hungarian composer Imre Kálmán, but behind him, you'll find another peculiar statue. This reverse Hamletian installation shows Géza Hofi, a fan-favorite comedian, dancing with death. He didn't shy away from humor about life under communist rule, so this dance may be symbolic, since not many people were allowed to do so under the socialist regime. Let's move to the south of Budapest for a few more interesting installations. In Prater Street, next to Korvi metro station, a scene from the famous Hungarian youth novel, The Paul Street Boys, comes alive. This book about the life and struggles of boys in downtown Budapest was translated into several languages and had multiple movie adaptations, and the one from 69 is a personal favorite of mine. A few corners away, you'll see another classic movie actor, Bud Spencer. The Italian-born water polo player and actor was super beloved in Hungary. Most of us grew up on spaghetti western and other movies he and Terence Hill starred in, and there is sort of a cult surrounding him. This is why there is a statue honoring him here in Budapest. At one of the transportation hubs, the Boráros Square, there is an installation depicting a wine merchant. This is actually sort of like a joke, because while the word Boráros does sound similar to wine merchant in Hungarian, the place was actually named after János Boráros, a politician and chief judge of Budapest, and not someone selling wines. On the Buddha side, right next to the famous Gellért bath, you'll see Saint Stephen with his trusted horse. The first king of Hungary has many statues, but this is special because he is holding a church in his arms. King Stephen transitioned Hungary from being a nomadic tribal society into a European nation by embracing Christianity. For our last statue, we'll visit the Városliget city park. Here you'll find a dark lord kind of figure known as Anonymous. But no, he is no dark lord and not a member of the hacker group, he is the faceless and nameless chronicler of one of our kings. His work documented the stories and legends of how Hungarians came to the Carpathians, which is why he is important to us for understanding our history, even if he remains anonymous. 
Now in this video we could not cover all the statues in Budapest but we hope that you guys learned about some of those that are more interesting and you might find it when you are exploring the city. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in our future videos. Bye!